Indonesia records progressive economic development during last decades, having fast sea territory with 1,000 islands and over 270 million population on IT. On it, that's what I'm saying, Indonesia will depend on technology, science and innovations to solve both current and future problems. That's right. And tonight, Asia Prime is having Bapak Laksana Trihandoko, Chairman of the National Research and Innovation Agency, or BRIN, to discuss about Indonesia's science and technology investments. Good evening, Pak Handoko. Welcome to Asia Prime. Uh, thank you very much, Ba Almanda and, and Masik Bal. Pak Handoko, we would like to know, how does BRIN as an institution see Indonesia's economic and social development in the current time? Now, as we know, education, technology and innovations, they play an important role to do that. And we would like to know then, what is your plan in order to support the establishment of Indonesia's maritime interests? Yes, uh, so as uh, Indonesia is one of the countries with relatively uh, high economic growth in the world. Yeah? Unfortunately, our economic growth uh, still highly depends on uh, our natural resources. So this is mostly because uh, we have too little uh, what we call as the research-based or technology-based economy with high uh, value added. So this is the main reason why in three direction and seven objective of green, yeah, uh, when uh, we have been established on April this year, we are expected to explore and maybe in some sense also to exploit and to pay more attention to our uh, local competitiveness. In particular, uh, diversities, including, uh, for example, the biodiversity, the geodiversity, and also our culture diversity. Yeah? So, in regard to uh, maritime issues, so we have to admit also that uh, so far Indonesia has paid too little attention yeah, to our water territory. Although our territory is occupied more than uh, 60% by water. So our ocean is, uh, in general, uh, less explored. Yeah? So then uh, after the integration of uh, governmental research institutions, uh, previously belonging to many ministries and agencies under BRIN, now BRIN as a governmental research institution has more capacity and capabilities to conduct large scale also uh, oceanic research. Yeah, because oceanic research requires, uh, uh, you know, very large scale uh, investment and also effort to conduct it. Yeah, so because we we, we can use the consolidated uh, human resources yeah, in the respected field, of course, the infrastructure and also the funding. Yeah, uh, consolidated from many uh, research institutions. So, in particular, for example, we we uh, right now we have uh, a fleet of research vessels. Yeah, not only research vessels, but a fleet of research vessels. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it is clear that uh, without uh, strengthening research and innovation, it is impossible to improve our economic growth uh, sustainably. Yeah, because research provides the ability, our ability to increase uh, much better the added value yeah, of our uh, uh, biodiversity, our local competitiveness, and so on. Okay, Pak Handok, it's interesting that you mentioned about Indonesia pay too little to attention and talk about it where in October we took note that uh, there's a research from a Stanford University that has listed yeah. dozens of Indonesian scientists to be at 2% world ranking scientists. Of course, we are glad yeah. to hear that, but Amanda, we often hear that usually Indonesian scientists chose to stay in other countries because they have more, you know, wealth, they're treated, they feel there. more appreciated in other countries. So, all developed nations yeah. respect science and offer better ecosystem for their scientists to work in. How do you bring convinced that uh, the as old but new body be a shelter for our scientists and the advance of knowledge, Pandoko? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'm of course very proud of uh, you know uh, them all. Yeah, the two percent, uh, you know, our scientists uh, belonging to the two percent world ranking scientists. Yeah, and on behalf of Green, I would like to congratulate them and wish them to be more successful in the future. Yeah, but uh, the data uh, unfortunately has also shown very sad fact that 
uh, the number of Indonesians belonging to, uh, namely the two percent uh, world ranking scientists, is uh, very low. Yeah. Uh, compared to, for, 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 for instance, uh, our even yeah, our neighboring countries in ASEAN, yeah, even we compare uh, if, if we compare with uh, Singapore and also uh, Thailand and also Malaysia, yeah. So as I already mentioned, there are uh, in general there are three three main inputs of uh, or resources, yeah, uh, for research activities. The first one is the the excellent human resources, yeah? the excellent human resources. Uh, secondly is the infrastructure, I mean the research infrastructure, and also the funding yeah? uh, in general. So there are three uh, input components for research. But uh, we have so far suffered from very low critical mass of those three resources. Yeah? This means, uh, I mean, in total, we have relatively large number of human resources. Yeah? last number of infrastructures and also funding actually but since all of them were uh, scattered over uh, too many institutions yeah too many institutions belonging to different uh, ministries and also agencies each of them is lacking of everything yeah that was uh, uh, the fact yeah uh, previously but after the establishment of green we are certainly yeah, I can say we are suddenly having much better position in all aspects. Yeah, because all resources have been integrated under a single umbrella. Yeah, so now uh, our homework uh, at Green is how to make use of those integrated resources to improve the research and innovation ecosystem uh, in a relatively short period of time. Yeah, mm. so we have established what we call as an open platform initiative yeah, where we open our research infrastructure so we start with our research infrastructure yeah, to be accessible and used by anyone yeah, either academics and also industry and this would uh, over overcome the problem of research infrastructure yeah, because everyone could conduct any research without having uh, enough infrastructure in their own institutions yeah because they can uh, make use of uh, you know the, the, the available research infrastructures in any uh, campuses of green yeah? yeah so in the last few years and many years to come uh, we have invested uh, actually a lot of budget to improve our uh, research infrastructure so once the 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 infrastructure is getting better we can attract uh, excellent human resources. Yeah. So after after uh, we have improved uh, research infrastructure, we can attract excellent human resources mm. to work at three or Indonesia in general. Yeah. That's why since uh, three years ago, actually, when I was in uh, Lipi, uh, we already started uh, recruiting new researchers with a minimum requirement of PhD holders. Yeah. So this scheme is uh, actually very effective to uh, call our diaspora across the globe back to Indonesia. Yeah? So this is uh, what uh, I think, uh, what you mean with the shelter, yeah? So, yes, and, yes. and I, I do believe that uh, yeah, in the near future we can, yeah. Pak Alaksono, just one last question for yeah, the evening. Science is capital and power, we know that. And innovation also means copyright. But for the public and common interest, we really need cheap innovation to give strength for our fundamental economic, for people to easily access yeah. and invest for cheap technology and innovation to be applied, for example, for small businesses or small agriculture. Now the question, Pak Alaksono, how do we balance the scale between the need for intellectual property rights to yeah. be respected and the need for cheap technology to be distributed for the greater good of the people. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I definitely agree yeah, with your opinion, but the property right does not mean uh, limit the public access to any innovation. Yeah, this is very important. Yeah, because property right could be licensed. Yeah, so the problem is the licensing. Yeah, uh, I mean the licensing fee. Yeah, so uh, uh, because property right could be licensed even for three. 
Yeah. So then uh, that would make every uh, you know uh, uh, that would make uh, everyone can access the property right as long as we can provide it for free. Yeah. For the licensing fee. So the property right is still important, yeah? So it's still important not only to protect our invention or innovation, but it is very crucial in terms of uh, proving the track record. So the property right is very important, but uh, the problem you already mentioned, yeah, is different thing, yeah? So this is just uh, how, how we can manage the licensing fee. And in regard to the licensing fee, yeah, because uh, Green has a capability to provide the research infrastructure, and in some cases also we can provide the human resources to conduct the research, for example, with the industry. Yeah? So we can provide everything for free yeah, for the uh, respected industry, yeah, okay. including the uh, small medium enterprises and also okay. uh, small agriculture and so on. Yeah. Okay, sure. Pak Handoko, so thank you be... very much. Yeah. Sorry, we're running out of time, Pak Handoko. We hope that uh, on the next time we have, uh, you know, we can follow this mm -hmm. discussion further. Thank you very much, Pak Handoko, for joining us tonight on Asia Prime. That's thank pa you, thank you. Laksana yes. Trihandoko, thank head you, of everyone. National yeah. Research and Innovation Agency, or BRIN. To the next news now.